you landscape it and you literally can shape the land in an aesthetically pleasing way to make it do anything. And it's, this is just a temporary form of doing that. I'm Sam Bennett. I do little sculptures on the beach. I'm a landscape gardener. I kind of picked what I do as a day job because I do this, except with this, it's for no one. It's simply for the fact it can be here for a minute and then go on. But it's a form of art. I, I'll say it's ephemeral. Uh, it is a temporary form of art. But I don't like the thought of putting it in a gallery or putting it somewhere where it isn't meant to be. Like here, it, it looks bizarre because you turn up, it shouldn't be here. However, it's made of stuff that is naturally here. And Andy Goldsworth, I never really knew of anyone else doing it when I was young and started, but I remember my parents had well, a few of his books on their coffee table. So when you're a child, you look for it and what you do when you're younger doesn't compare. However, as much as he is an inspiration, I don't compare myself to him because he's very fortunate to have made a way that he can spend his life doing this for a living. I'll do it for fun in my spare time and that way I can always push bigger, better without really failing. So <laughs> I'm not one of these people that will draw it first. I would never sit there and try and work out what I'm going to do. It just happens. There isn't really a process. It's I don't want to say the rocks do all of the work, but you, I come down, I can spend two hours just looking at rocks, just picking the ones that I'm going to put into something like this. The rocks you pick up tell you what you're going to do. As you can see, not a perfect arch. Normally, I'd like it to be a lot smoother at the top. However, today the tide didn't leave me with that many rocks, so finding the materials is most of it. And down here, there's slate. Then you go even further around the cliff, you can find pockets of quartz. Sometimes use a little bit of driftwood, but I try and stick to the raw materials that are given to me on that beach. It's definitely escapism. It is a very calm and relaxing place to be in the bay. When you're down here, you're inside your own head. You can think anything through, you can have any conversation, and then you realise that everything isn't all bad. You don't have to deal with all of the stress of life. You can remove yourself, even if it is for five minutes.